Hey, this is Left Technical, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a copy constructor. So, um, I took my vertex class or my vertex structure and changed it to a class so you can see. So, just for the sake of the video, so uh, up top here, we've got the instance constructor. And right below that, we're going to make a copy constructor, which will allow us to make physical copies of the vertex instances. So I'm going to say public vertex. And we want to pass in an object of type vertex. That would be the object we are copying. And we're going to return all of its values. So this x is equal to the new vertex x this y is equal to the new vertex y value and so on I'm going to go to the form 1 code and we'll take a look at the vertex uh, copy constructor so I'm going to create a new vertex. I'm going to say vertex2 is equal to two new vertex. And we have a second overload and it's going to allow us to take a vertex object. So we're going to specify vertex1. And then what this says is we want to copy vertex1 to vertex2. And we're going to change the value of vertex 1 and it should not reflect in vertex 2. So vertex 1.y is equal to 100. And we're going to print y to this vertex. Uh, we're going to print vertex 2y string. And so this dot text should be equal to um, 2. If it's equal to 100 then um, the reference type is still in place and we did not physically co copy the object. Okay, it's equal to 2. So the copy constructor functioned properly. And um, you can also take a look at uh, clone methods or something more proper like using the iClonable interface which is probably something you want to use for more compacts or sorry complex types so this is left technicals see you later